Right, let's do something then. Right, I, I, can you mute your microphone, um, I'm going to mute mine. Yeah. And if you've got any questions, just ask. James, just a thought. Yeah. You just sort of do a little, tell people what you're up to at certain points, maybe. You think? Yeah, sort of like a workshop kind of vibe. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so what? Well, I'm just doing a, just setting the mute groups on the hi hats so that the open hi hat cuts is cut off by the by the closed hi hat. So when I play in the uh, pattern. Again there. Do this. The other hi-hat cuts it off, so let's put that in.
nice amount. I'm going to put that in as one part. So I'm going to sample everything into the MPC and then we'll export everything out into audio. Uh, so I'm going to just go and double the length. I've only got a two bar loop going on on the MPC. You can see on the screen there it's only two bars long. So I'm going to go and double that. So um, let's give it a try. Secret edit. And we're going to. Copy bars number three. One copy of two bars. Imagine. So now we've got four bars on the screen of the same. While we're there, we we'll just name that track drums. But explode that track out. There's an explode command on the MPC, you can explode the track so each individual sound comes out on its own audio file. We'll do that towards the end, um, but I'm just going to flick up a track and go into uh, sample record with this mode here. Let's put the threshold down there. So I've got, so using my patch bait, I've got the uh, JX3P is patched into the inputs of the MPC. You see that leaping up nicely there, turn it down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go to play it around once and then I'll play the part in. samples so let's do the first one So now I'm going to go into sample edit mode. I'm going to use the. Uh, so I'm going to cut this off on my fingers now on the camera. Uh, use the Q-Link controls here, which I can use just to. Can zoom in. Make sure I've got that right smack on the button there. Yeah, nice bit of fuzz on there, lovely. Okay, so we'll process that. I'm just going to discard the ends. So that's uh, that one there. Let's roll it back to get to this one. And we'll just get in on there, zoom in on that a bit nicely. back 
and it's a good call it those names, so it's going to rename. Let's see, the GX1. It's got to be the one I was doing that, that's why it's done that. GX2, <coughs> okay, and then we're going to go to uh, track 2. We're going to make a new program. New, and we're going to keep it a drum program because you're just going to add it onto pads on the NPC. Um, so we call it program 2, and then I'm just going to drag GX1 and GX2 onto those two pads. Okay. Time is it ready to We have to just go in and tell it that they're, they're not one shot samples, they are one samples. It's going to play when I'm holding it then. If I wanted to do little rolls and stuff. Probably not, but we'll see. So let's play on to that and see what that sounds like. the end of the notes up there so they go all the way to the end of the bar so that's all sounds lovely let's just call this one let's try it to expand uh, I like to put all the synth sounds actually in the samples on the MPC because then it gets affected by the the vintage sound of it sounds like a bit more grimy bit uh, it's got a bit more of that's that MPC that lovely sound to it all right let's have a look at a baseline type idea now See if we can figure something out. I'm just going to plug in the um, micro group here.
Hey, get on, James. Yeah, all right, yeah. It's all coming how out many, right. Do you know how many viewers we've got on? No. Because I can't tell from my screen. I can only tell when I go in out the window. Hold on. One. Okay. Well, that's not me or Mike, so... Is it not? There is... No, there's someone else watching. Oh, that actually might be me on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're enjoying it, that's all I'm worried about, isn't it? It looks great on the iPad, though. I have to say, the quality is brilliant. I don't know if you can see that, but... Oh, shit. I can't see anything. Hang on. I'm going to put you back on here. What have you done? Dropped it? Yeah. <laughs> Smash the screen. I can't, I can't see anything except for a tiny bit. Yeah, you click on that window, then. Right. I've got to put the space on it before I forget it. Yeah. Right, I'll mute your mic again. So I'm just going to go and tell it to do that. Let's go set the new program in. So let's go track up and we do a new program, but we're going to make it a MIDI program. Tell it to send it to because there's four MIDI inputs on an NPC. One is going to be micro boot, MIDI output. It's in there, it's in case I make any mistakes or anything. Never make mistakes. Alright, here we go. So let's put MIDI in there now, somewhere. There it is. Quantize it all lovely. They need a bit loud, don't they? Let's just go into, into the uh, track mixer and we'll just bring down. Hi Ross, how you doing? <clears throat> I can't hear. I can't hear, mate. Oh, look, you popped up on my screen. Wicked. Um, right. Uh, let's just pop this track in here. So I'm going to go. Sample record. Lose, lost track of it now. Right. Sample record. Okay, 
broadening the play because it's playing the bloody parts in, so we don't need to worry about playing it around once I am. Okay, here we go. Stop that. And we name the sample MB bass. And I'll press enter this time. that <coughs> you now I could actually let's see why that does that on there let's just zoom back out on there and I can see if it's going to be able to do a chop on it it is isn't it yeah, let's do that so it's going to, I'm going to chop it so it puts each note on a different pad and it will put, put the notes in for me so I can play with quantizing again of the actual samples. So if we do that now, we convert the sliced samples, create a new program, and it's four bars. Do it. And we should, if we go back here, see we have Bit like a Rex loop, really, in, in Reason or something like that. You've got you've got all the parts in there. MIDI from the uh, microphone, so it's going to mute that track. Save it. Get cheered for it's never happened before. Uh, let's call that collaborate. S1. Let's do that. Wow. Be quiet playing next. Oops, not quiet. 
Do I have to guess who? Jude's is just joined us. Huh? Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. Hey. Hey, Drew. No idea. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't get the um, Google thing. Got the actual video chat work. I've been watching on my uh, iPhone for a while, but I couldn't get it actually started. <laughs> cool. <coughs> yeah, now. Oh, I'm hearing it twice. Yeah, man, man. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Better. Alright, let's see if we can get like a little arcade out there or something again, shall we? Let's do, uh... Oh, let's, let's push the boat out and try a plug-in track as well, shall we? So we've got another track, a new plugin. Okay. Now, let's have a look and see what we've got available on here. Oh, that's a shame, it doesn't show you the plugins on the side here. I thought it did. There's a way of getting to do that, I'll have to figure that one out. Basically, I've got the plugins here and VSTs in here. Let's <coughs> uh, go for something I know. That's what I know works in. PC as well. That sounds nice, James. Yeah, doesn't it? I was just going to say, who, who wants to guess at which one we're going to choose? We've all got um, the chat chat window open in a, in a, in, a, in our screens. Well, I can't see that, so I bet you're having the right old time. Mike's been wearing scuba diving gear for the last five minutes. Is he? I don't need to know what he does in his spare time, thanks. All right, let's go.
alright. Let's see if we can find something else. Oh, oh, oh. Recommendations. <clears throat> I can't see anyone. What about the Jupiter? Yeah, has a tendency to uh, not work very well with inside NPC though. Oh. We could try it. Let's try it, shall we? If it all goes down, then we'll just have to restart it. Make sure you hit save. I'll do that now. I've got the new one on here. Drew, what's the quality like your end? It's actually quite good. I've got it running, as I said, on my uh, TV as well. And on here. Yeah, I've really got it good. on the iPad. And the quality on the iPad is astounding. Yeah. In here it's a little bit jittery, but it's actually really good on the iPad. But if you're a viewer, it's brilliant. Yeah. To get some shiny disco balls next time. I've got one up there. It's behind the camera, so you can't see it.
Drew, how far behind would you say your lag is on the live feed? If I'm honest, there's quite a bit. Um, I want to say about a minute or maybe, maybe a minute, minute or two, yeah. Okay, cool. About a minute, I've just had the same one. Oh, it wouldn't would let me join the actual Hangout on the iPhone. It said the audio was wrong. But it would let me watch the live feed. Yeah, I think the main thing is if we have people on the, on the, on the video itself, I think we'll get them to use laptops. And then just the devices for watching. Yeah. Anyone else hearing that um, beep beep noise every so often? Is it what? No, just me. Yeah, is it is it like a little bloom? Yeah. But yeah. It's normally two twice. Oh, I'm going to get it once, and I'm not touching anything.
that. It's not bad. Let's just go and put something on uh, top of that. Let's go and play another keyboard. I'm got you off, guys. Thanks, Mike. That's all right. No worries, Mike. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. No problem. Enjoy. See you later. See you later, mate. See you later, mate. Thanks a lot. Okay, Mike. All right. Since that, James. That's the D, my Roman D5. This synth is right here. So I should have mentioned that.
Alright, so hi. <clears throat> now let's go and get a new track. Run up to place. So I can go. <coughs> Alright. Just a new program. I'm just going to record this straight in. We're coming in quite hot. Let's turn it down a bit more. So same again, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to hit the record button on here and see how we get on. Okay, so that first one's got a little glitch in that, so let's just take the second one. Zoom in on there. My oh, one arm blocks that camera every time I do this and it's sitting there. That instead of choosing discard, I'm going to take extract and do that. So it extracts that bit, and then I'm going to extract another bit from there. I think I see in on there. Process that again. Let's remember that I did extract last time. I'm going to extract that. I'm going to go back to main. I've got a new program already sitting there. Drag that onto there. Drag that onto there. And go back in and do what we did before. Let's go and tell them that they're. Just 
if I've got a bit of a thing on, uh, a bit of a short time to get the notes right on that, I'm just going to give it a little bit of an envelope release on the amplitude envelope. As you can see, just here on the screen here, I can see it on my screen here, which is what I'm doing everything from, and it's assigned to this here. So I'm going to give that a little bit like that. Okay, so now we can go and put that in. Just do a save on there. And we'll record that in as well. So, as to one little more sound that I can just hear in my head here. <clears throat> um, that's what I can get from this CZ on here. Starting on that sound. Sounds like I'm about to stop playing a, some gallery music or something. Tony Harp. Huh? Tony Harp. Yeah, that's it.
length again that like we did before. Uh, let's just save it and then we'll just go back into sequence edit. Copy bars and we'll make it eight bars long here and we'll merge that together. So now we have an eight bar sequence on the screen. <coughs> let's just change the track again so we don't accidentally overwrite anything. Programmer work. I've got a pro the, the mode machines programmer for this synth over here. Sometimes you need to reset the synth for it to pick up when it's has different uh, modes because it's in um, it's quite an old synthesizer, so it's got early early implementation of, of uh, implementation of MIDI on it. And the programmer is all done with one slider unless you have an external programmer for it. And mode machines uh, make uh, a, 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 a basically a, a remake of the original programmer because the original programmers are uh, quite hard to get hold of and quite expensive. This is uh, a great little unit, and so I bought one of these instead. And it allows me to program this synth on here now. Very nice, right? Let's just try. Let's do that. So we're going to go sample record again, just like before, make sure the level's all right on it. Quite hot again. Uh, so maybe to give it a bit longer this time, it sets, sets 20 seconds. So let's increase that a bit because it's got quite a long tail on the sound there. I don't want to lose that tail on the sound. Let's double it to 40 seconds to give us plenty of time. <coughs> All right.
call that to J X Riff. You see, I'm very creative with my names. Keep it nice and simple. Keep that. Share back. I reckon this will be the last part, I reckon. So let's just get into sound edit mode on this. Zoom it, drag it in. Get it right on the button there. Are we going to make these available from the website, James? Do you want to? Well, I think so. We'll put them available as stems on the website. Okay, yeah. I'm making this as a stem pack. That'll do. So, uh, let's process that. I'm not going to extract it this time. I'm going to discard it. So, I'm going to wind it back to discard, do it, and then go and assign it to a new program. So, we've got an unused track. Unused here, so you can see that. So, that on my screen here as well. So, I'm going to do new. Program, drum program, drag in my JX riff sound onto there. <coughs> and again, just go and tell it that it's not a one shot sample. Hold it to playing for ages like that. And again, just change the envelope release just a little bit. so much as that. Do. Right, plug and edit. We'll save that. And let's call that riff. And we'll put it in. Here we go. Let's go and put those drums back in again. Save that as well. The track down. That's full tracks and names as well. Makes it easier. When we're bouncing it out. So now we've got all these in here, so unmute the drums. Okay, so we've got drums in there. Um, so what I normally do now is what we're going to do is what I'm, I'm just going to bounce them all out as audio files now basically so and then I will put them into Logic and then I will start arranging the track maybe add some other bits and pieces so that's where all you guys are going to come in I should look at the camera really well you guys are going to come in because then you can you can take the parts and do what you like with it and submit it back to us um, brilliant Alright, I'll go ahead and do that now. Awesome parts. stuff, James. Sorry? Awesome stuff. What? I said awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, you, you were cutting out. You're coming out of my tiny little speaker in my Mac down here. Uh, uh, right, really let's, let's just go and bounce those out now. Uh, oh, no, I've got to explode the track first. Let's go and explode this track. So on the drum track here, I'm going to choose this drum Ooh. track. I'm going to press little button here and it says explode you probably can't see that but it's in the fourth button across here is actually the explode button if I hit that button there 
what it does is it mutes the uh, the actual drum track itself. But if we now go all the way up past our instruments here, we can see now I have a bass drum track, snare drum track, hi hat track, open hi hat track, clap tracks, rim shot tracks, tom tracks. It's split them all into individual tracks for me. So that means now when I go in and I do export as audio mix down, I can choose explode tracks. Um, I do them in 16 bit 44 1. Actually, you know, the 24 bit 44 1 a bit better. Um, and we'll have an audio tail of 5 seconds on that. So, uh, yeah. I'll export that now. Let's go into the folder. New folder. I'll just call that parts. Save. And it exports the tracks out for me. Nice and simple. So they're just standard web files. You can go in, grab them. Sample them, chop them up, stick them at Ableton, fiddle around with them, uh, do whatever you like to them. Just, uh, just uh, make sure that you send it back to us so we can, uh, we can um, hear what you've done. The place to get them at is, uh, am I right, Jamie? It's C A T M dot com now isn't it? Uh, no, cm dot co uk. Cm dot co uk. So that's the letter C, number eight, and letter M. Collaborate music. Uh, C eight M dot co uk. Or you can uh, and you can submit them up there for us. You can get them from there. Submit them back up there. Uh, that's kind of the idea of the whole the whole thing really. Um, so. Parts are exported now. Um, all I need to do is to just uh, zip them up and uh, upload them. All Excellent. Nice. We'll get those up in the next day or two. Yeah, we'll get them up in the next day or two. It'll be awesome. Cool. Sure. We'll be back here sometime soon, I guess. Sometime very soon. Next month. Yes. One a month. Is that right, Nick? This is the set. Yeah, second. No, third. Third Wednesday, Third Wednesday every month. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Third Wednesday every month. We'll see you next time. I'm going to work out how to cool. turn this off now. Drew, thanks for coming by. Thanks, Drew. Oh, there you are, Drew. How you doing, fella? I'm good, man. How are you? All right, yeah. Nice poster behind you. I like that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop, this, really I'm gonna stop the broadcast now. Is that, that, if I stop that, do you, do you all disappear? You don't, do you? Um, yeah, we do. Yeah, we all disappear. Cool. Well, cool. thanks, so, guys. All right. Thanks, dude. No worries. I'll catch up with you later, Drew, and uh, I'll get some feedback from you. So. Yeah, wicked. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> if you're still listening, well done, mate. Uh, wicked. Uh, I'll speak yeah, to you soon. You got two live viewers, so. All right, wicked. And thanks to everyone else is watching. Awesome. Tell all your friends. Brilliant. See you next time.